Welcome, welcome everyone. It's, uh, what a great day, what a great day. It was, uh, welcome to the University of Bath on behalf of uh, the organizing committee. Uh, I'm Christos Vasilakis, I'm one of the co-chairs and together with uh, Meli Celik and uh, Mitsu Norris, we, we want to welcome you to this uh, uh, beautiful September day. Not too, too warm, you know, a couple of days ago it was really, really hot and humid here. This conference has been in the planning for, for quite a few years, so it's finally here, and I, I cannot be more happy about welcoming you all. Uh, we have a number of people that made this conference uh, possible. We, uh, we have the organizing committee. Everybody's here, actually apart from Elvan, who has a good excuse. She just gave birth to her first uh, baby. That's why she's not with us. But Maria, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Professors Maria Vatar and Stefan Ongo put together the program and did fantastically. And Siamak has always did a great work with scheduling the, all the talks. John Metkers from the Society, many of you will know, or uh, involved with the Society for many for many years, and we had Laura, uh, Zera, and Amalia that uh, did some fantastic work with organizing an ECR uh, workshop, an early career researchers workshop before we started here. We had really good support from, um, from the university team with uh, Mark and Amanda. Amanda has been involved with setting this up from the very beginning. Mark joined us a few months ago and has done a fantastic job in helping us out. And as always, uh, there are society uh, 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 friendly uh, members of staff uh, have done actually all the work and we're just here drinking coffee and kind of cheering them on. Uh, as I told you, as I alluded to, that's not the first event that we had. We, we started eating and drinking, sorry, discussing about academic matters <laughs> on Sunday with an early careers workshop. It was really well attended. We were about f uh, 50 of us yesterday in the room. And... Um, uh, I, I, I hope that uh, many of these uh, uh, people are still in the conference and, and we'll be able to get to know you and tell you more about what we did. Uh, oh, yes, I will put this up here for you to read. I was told we have to uh, say a few words about where we're going to meet in case there's a fire alarm. There are no scheduled fire alarms as far as I know, so if you hear one, most likely it's a real thing. But you are operation researchers. You should know how to do it. And uh, there's also some evacuation message, which I have to admit, I really don't know what the evacuation siren sounds like, but we'll probably let you know if this is the case. But yes, hopefully none of this will be, will be needed. So without further ado, uh, let me pass you on to our Dean, Steve Brammer, who's going to say a few words. Steve? Thanks. I think this is working. If it isn't, I can certainly bellow loud enough. Welcome, everybody. It's a real joy to welcome you to school, uh, to university, and to city. To those, I was going to make some OR jokes about the Southwest, but I'll, I'll postpone those. I'll simply say, uh, to those of you that stayed on campus, welcome to the hottest bedrooms in Christendom. <laughs> I, I, I hope that you, uh, I hope you survived the night sweats uh, and. Uh, uh, and emerge ready for a, a week of OR. Um, it, it, it's a joy uh, to welcome you all. Let me first thank my colleagues and those that have organized the conference. I know there's a hell of a lot of work as I'm in the process of organizing one for a year's time uh, that we'll host here on campus. Um, uh, there's a lot of work that goes into making these events successful. And I'm really grateful to all my colleagues and to those of the society for bringing this community to campus uh, for this year's OR Society Conference. Uh, I rejoined the school in the thick of the first lockdown, um, and I think uh, I've reflected a bit as we've got back into conferencing, and as I'll say a bit more later when I have an opportunity to reflect and talk at you again at 3.45 or thereabouts, when there will be booze, there will be booze, um, uh, I think the value of community, the value of being together physically, of being able to spend time with each other, uh, really uh, engaging in the kinds of dialogues and relationship building that we're so used to as academics, that was denied us for a few years, but now uh, I'm really pleased to say um, that that's back, and I'm glad that you're here uh, having that opportunity. I'll reflect a little bit later on the development of the OR discipline here in the school and more generally, which I think is, uh, uh, is really uh, exciting. But for now, let me just say this. I'm particularly excited to welcome this community here for two reasons. One is because um, 
of the community's orientation to impact, particularly pro-social impact, making a difference through applied research uh, that you do. That's very much in the heart of the school uh, and the university and matters to us a lot. Probably someone in the room, this is a very Dean type question, has done an analysis of all the REF uh, uh, impact case studies. I wonder how many of those came from the OR community. I imagine a very substantial slice and I think that's something the community can be proud of and I'm certainly grateful for in the context of my academic community. The second thing I'm, I, I'm very um, uh, pleased about is that this isn't just uh, a community of academics, it's also a community uh, that interfaces very strongly with communities of policy uh, and of practice and friends in the room who are in those worlds uh, welcome. Uh, I think we are enriched as an academic community through our interfaces uh, with you as a community of policy and practice and I'm, I think this is a community that has I think a really strong record in bridging that interface, much stronger than other academic communities I could mention but won't mention. Um, so uh, welcome to our school, to our city uh, and to our university. I hope uh, in your time here you'll get to enjoy and spend time benefiting from the wonders of each. Uh, for now I'll simply say welcome, I wish you all the best for a fantastic conference, uh, an exit stage right for university planning, so welcome. <laughs> Yes, sir. Thanks. Uh, good morning, folks. I'd, I'd like to um, welcome you on behalf of the OR Society. Uh, my name's Seb Hargreaves. I'm the executive director at the OR Society. Many of you will uh, know my predecessor, Gavin Blackett, who's here actually in the audience as a member himself of the OR Society and in his new role of, as uh, IFOR's secretary. Um, but firstly, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to the School of Management and the University of Bath for hosting us this week. Um, thank you, obviously, to the, the, the co-chairs and the organizing committee um, and everyone involved in putting this conference together, um, particularly my staff team as well within the OR Society. I think we've got a really interesting, engaging uh, program for you all this week. Um, my thanks to our headline sponsor, DataSpark, uh, and all our sponsor exhibitors as well who are on the mezzanine floor just at, uh, upstairs. And I'd encourage you within the coffee breaks and at lunch to um, go and visit the stands uh, speak to, to all of those that are exhibiting as well as the OR Society team uh, and hopefully we can answer any questions uh, that you may have about the society or anything else. But I think this is a great opportunity uh, for obviously for networking, for sharing learning um, and uh, I'm really grateful for you all to, for spending the time to come, uh, come to OR 65 uh, this year. So uh, that's all really I wanted to say. Um, I'm going to hand over to Gilbert, uh, Dr. Gilbert Owusu, our president. Gilbert. Thank you very much. Seb. A big welcome. Um, I had my welcome to Seb uh, as well. And um, this is a special conference and a special year. Um, it is special because 75 years ago, um, this community, the OR community, was formed. And um, we have been making impact over the years. Um, of course, offered the world a rich set of tools and methodologies covering both soft and hard OR. Um, the impact that we have made is evident. Um, and we will be seeing more of that in this conference. Of course, big thanks to the organizing committee that has been said, just want to add my thanks. Um, there is a rich set of program ahead of us, lots to do, please let's make the most of it. I just want to flag that to mark our 75th anniversary, we have launched a campaign tagged This is OR. And the objective is to raise the awareness of OR and its benefits. In line with that, during this conference, we will have the opportunity to reflect on our past or celebrate our past, look at what we're doing now in the present and then chart the course for the future. And one of the things that we have done is started reviewing our strategy. And thanks to all those who have contributed. If you haven't done so, there will be an opportunity for you to provide your inputs. We clearly need those to shape the future of the society. Um, well, in light of that, I, I would want to officially 
open OR65 and also to launch that this is the OR um, campaign. This is going to kick off a number of activities for the coming year to mark the 75th anniversary. Thank you again for coming. I mean, we couldn't do this three years ago, last year's successful conference um, at Warwick, and uh, we are building on that. Really grateful that you're able to join us. Let's make the most of the conference. Thank you. Hi, I'm Greg McCormick. I'm the chair of the training working group. As you probably know, the society runs training courses to support OR to support you, um, ranging from foundation courses for people new to the profession through continuing professional development and new techniques. Uh, the training working group is the body that is responsible for the quality of courses and for making sure they meet your needs. So I'm here with a very, very keen interest in picking your brains. Um, we really, really want feedback. We want to know whether we're meeting the needs. We want to know whether you have ideas, things like what, what do you think of the um, master classes? Um, any gaps that you're aware of, things that you would like to see happen? Uh, and particularly, is there some speciality that you know and could train other people in? Come and talk to me. Um, bend my ear and um, let me know what you think. Let me know your ideas. Um, if you don't know what it would involve to become a trainer, come and talk to me and ask me, and we can discuss it. Um, just a little word of warning. If we're in a noisy environment and you see me staring at your nose, you don't have a pimple. I have hearing aids, and they don't work very well in those circumstances. <laughs> so I'll be around and about in the lobby sometimes, in the various sessions, in the social events. Um, come and say hello. Talk to me. Tell me. And I will very happily nick your ideas. Thank you.